Assalamu alaikum guys uh, today we will be going to discuss about the pre-release material of O-Levels Computer Science 2017 so the uh, target of today's lecture is just to uh, discuss the pre-release material uh, the coding will be uh, provided in the next lecture so uh, let's start we have uh, this blog already here that we will going to refer again and again for our reference uh, and I have already uploaded the previous material here so let's look into it so you can go to this place sites pre-release material you can download the pre-release material can view you can download uh, let's view the previous material here <coughs> okay so this is the solved pre-release material that uh, was uh, that is uh, uploaded by the CIA uh, for 2017 O-Levels. Uh, this is for uh, the Zone 4, for example, uh, uh, in Pakistan, in Vietnam, in Bhutan, Nepal, Mauritius, um, uh, India. So all the students from these countries can get benefit from this. Uh, if somebody does not know about the pre-release material, so it's, it's uh, the part of the paper 2. In paper 2, we have two sections. Uh, the section A is now uh, uh, that comes from the pre-release material the material that is always provided by the CIA just before the examinations around three to four months before and uh, because the CIA believes that the students themselves individually cannot program a big program like um, the program that they give in the pre-release material by all by themselves so instead of giving that question straight uh, in the paper uh, they uh, sort of like they ask that question before the paper so that that program or that problem can be solved by the students uh, with the help of the teachers uh, in the school or wherever they are uh, studying or participating so once they are done with the uh, with that solution of that problem later on in, in the paper they will going to ask uh, about the same or almost the same question uh, slightly changed maybe the values or, or the name of the variables will be changed and uh, some questions regarding that uh, that uh, program will be asked in the paper 20 marks are uh, comes uh, uh, from the section A and later the 55 marks are from section B uh, which uh, should be covered by the students uh, okay so the pre-release material let me zoom it a little bit all right so this is the pre-release material that is given by the CIA so it's absolutely the same I've just rewritten it to complete this document so in this pre-release material the main uh, brainstorming of the idea is that they uh, want to create a small software for a um, for a club which uh, take care of the senior citizens and uh, there is an outing being arranged by the senior citizens for the senior citizens and uh, the club want to organize that the senior citizens uh, are required to uh, submit the amount uh, the club has already uh, you know set a limitation that only people from 10 to 36 in between can go uh, sorry the senior citizens the number of senior citizens that can go on the outing should be at least 10 and cannot be more than 36 so for example if uh, this is the uh, uh, this is the condition that they have given us in the uh, the pre-release material so in, in an actual question in CIE they may change uh, the number of citizens or even they can change from uh, citizens to students and they can ask for that we are arranging a uh, party out 
uh, going party for uh, for students of the school, uh, but the whole uh, the pattern will remain same. For example, the pattern that we are following, uh, going to learn in this previous material. So, uh, so 10 to 36 people can go on the outing, and uh, at least two carers will going to accompany them. If the senior citizens will be greater than 24, then one additional carer will accompany, and then we have to calculate the estimated cost. Later on, after calculating the estimated cost, uh, uh, we will uh, note down the names of the uh, people going on outing and the amount that they have paid and uh, at last what we have to do is we have to calculate that if that club has uh, made a profit for example uh, the amount collected from the people uh, we're going to subtract it with uh, the estimated cost that we have done before so we just basically the club want to make a program that not only print the name and amount of all the people going on the outing but also that if the club has made the profit or not or it's just it's on the break even so uh, these all things um, are uh, part of this pre-release material the task one is just to calculate the estimated cost so the estimate cost table is given so for example if for example uh, the number of citizens are in between 12 and 36 basically uh, when the two carers will accompany this if uh, the senior citizen if the senior citizens are 10 they will become 12 so if the people are in between 12 and 16 then uh, the coach the lorry will cost this much this will be the cost of the meal and this will be the cost for the ticket and uh, hence if the number of the people are in between 17 and 26 so the hiring of coach will change uh, the cost of meal will change and ticket say yeah live name recording so if the number of people are in between 17 and 29 the number of people will be in between 27 and 39 uh, then the, the heart of the coach will be different and the cost of the meal will be reduced because more people are eating in the uh, restaurant so they will going to give us a little bit leverage and they will going to reduce the price and hence the theater as well so after calculating the cost uh, estimating the cost in task 2 we will going to input the uh, data from the uh, from the user the user who will be running the program our made program we are going to input the name of the people and uh, the amount paid by the people and then that amount will be calculated uh, and if there are extra seats available on the coach on the lorry then we will go to input uh, more uh, name of the people and amount submit by them amount for extra people will be the same and um, hence uh, they, then we will uh, put the list for the people going on an outing and uh, uh, the amount that they have been task three we will going to calculate the uh, estimated sorry the profit if the profit has made or if it's a break even right <clears throat> so uh, before uh, going to this solution uh, I have uploaded uh, the discussion part as well the reason of uploading the discussion part is uh, because uh, in CIE in past papers we have witnessed that uh, when they are asking the question in section A from the pre-release material they will not always going to ask us uh, for the you know coding pseudocodes or the VB or Python code of uh, all the tasks for example task 1, 2 and 3 uh, rather they ask us uh, maybe uh, they're gonna ask for to please pseudocode write down the pseudocode for task 1 and task 3 and discuss what's happening in task 2 so just like we have already discussed so I've just jotted down it, these things in a number of points for example when we talk about task 1 here uh, you can see here and uh, now uh, here in uh, task 1 so I've just simply simplified the whole thing that for very first what you need to do and then at second number what you need to do uh, because even if they will going to change the name of the variables or the data um, uh, they will not going to change the pattern of the program 
because definitely that will be uh, get out of the you know scope uh, dif the level uh, difficulty level will be uh, beyond uh, the approach of full level students so um, this is how you will going to do um, to input the number of senior citizens at the very start we have to input uh, that how many people are going on outing how many senior citizens are going on outing uh, then we have to validate the data that if the user will going to input data uh, below 10 or above 36 it's mean that our program should output a me uh, an error message and um, then definitely the user should uh, uh, should be asked to input the data again to input the number of citizens again so um, calculate after validation we have to calculate how many number of people going on an outing so if the senior citizens are below 24 definitely two carriers will accompany for example in your case if you have inputted 13 senior citizens okay. are going on outing then two carriers will accompany so 15 people are going on outing and if for example 25 uh, senior citizens are going on outing then 28 number of people because three carriers will then accompany and um, after that we have to calculate the estimated cost just from the formula I have already written the formula that we are going to use to calculate the cost after that we will be done with calculating the um, cost for all the people that are going on the outing we will going to con will count the cost uh, per citizens because uh, carer uh, will not have to pay so the citizens will going to bear the cost of the carers so we have to find the cost per citizen uh, the formula is given and after that definitely we have uh, task 2 to input and store the very first thing that is important uh, when we talk about task 2 so I'm already expecting that uh, probably they will going to ask us not I'm saying sure but probably they will us they will ask us about the pseudo code of task one and task three and they will going to ask us please discuss about the task two so for task two maybe maybe we don't have to code we just have to discuss but god knows or maybe the CI people who said the paper knows all right so input and store means we have to do this thing in one dimensional area because we are going to store the uh, names and amounts so we need some data structure and the only data structure that we are familiar with uh, after you know variables and constants the proper data structure to store the values is <coughs> array the one dimensional array that is part of our slips so after inputting the uh, and storing the recording the names and amounts we have to uh, find that if there are ex uh, extra sheets available for example if 13 citizens mean 15 people are going on an outing the coach that we know that will go will be that uh, 155 uh, dollar uh, cost coach that is 16 seater so we will be having one extra seat so we can take one extra people with us so if the seats are available then we will going to um, if the seats are available, uh, available then we can include more people on the coach and definitely we have to input their name and their amount paid and after taking this whole thing we have to sum up the amount paid by all the people and then we have to output the list of the people going on uh, including the people and the extra people and the carers and all we have to output the name of all the people and the amount that have paid definitely the amount paid by the carer will going to be shown as zero because they will not going to pay in task three definitely above we have seen that uh, the CIA people they have just told us to you know to calculate the um, profit or break-even point uh, but when we will actually going to uh, design the the pseudocode for the solution for this problem this uh, senior citizens club solution uh, we will going to notice that when the extra people will accompany uh, their meal and their ticket cost will going to be will be bared by uh, by the club so uh, only that we will going to be uh, we will be having uh, you know the, the amount that we're going to save will be on the coach so we have to calculate the uh, extra people 
uh, meal and their uh, their theater ticket amount and we have to add that up and then later on we have to find out uh, the profit that will be simply the amount that we have uh, collected subtracted by the amount that is expected that we have calculated in task one and then later on in task three so um, this is the pseudocode definitely the de declaration uh, have to be done so what variables are required to be declared for the task one you should know about that what var uh, what variables and arrays are required to uh, declare for task two we should know about that because they can ask us questions separately about it and uh, this is how it's being done after declaration we have uh, inputted the number of citizens and after taking input here input citizens then we have to apply this while and while check that if citizens are below 10 or citizens are greater than 36 only then this while and while this portion of the code will execute when the user will going to input for example if the user will going to input this command will execute input in uh, input citizens and the user input 9 for example so now because 9 is inside the citizens so 9 is less than 10 so this condition will be true and this condition will be true this message will execute output there's an error please input again so the user will going to input again and then and while if the user will going to make mistake again for example input 37 then the condition will be checked again and now inside citizens it's 37 37 37 is less than 10 no but 37 is greater than 36 this condition will again get through because we have included or not end so this part will execute again and this will be the error so this this is how the whole thing will go so um, after doing the validation we have to include we can also look into the discussion part it's good to you know memorize the discussion of the previous material or to understand the, dis uh, the, uh, the, the discussion of all the tasks because this is only how we will going to know what is the next thing we need to do so after the input of number of citizens after validation of the data number one number two the third part was to um, to count how many number of people are going on our team so two carriers will accompany if citizens like they are the minimum number of citizens uh, number of carriers required to go but if the people are greater than two then we will going to add in people people that we have already calculated so minimum two citizens as uh, two carriers will go but if there the citizens are greater than 24 then we will add one in people I guess I have made a mistake here. If citizens, so please guys, correct this thing out. If citizens are greater than 24, then we're going to add one more in people. So um, this is the mistake in the pseudo code that I've made. So we can correct that out. All right. So then later on, the fourth part is to calculate the uh, expected cost according to the table so if if the people are in between 12 and 16 then this is how we will going to apply the formula 150 for the um, for the coach then 14 for uh, the meal per person and then 21 21 for uh, the ticket per person so only one if we're going to execute and this is how we will going to calculate the estimated cost uh, after calculating the estimated cost we need to calculate the cost per person that will be the expected cost here that will be calculated divided by the number of citizens uh, here number of citizens so this is how we do that in task 2 the first thing that we need to do we need to declare the array of the size 39 the reason of giving it the size 39 is that uh, the maximum maximum number of people can be 39 they can below 
39 they can uh, cannot be above 39 so maximum people so i've just even though uh, i believe that this is really not the very best approach uh, of declaring the array but this is the easiest way of uh, doing this program so and definitely it will not going to harm us we will going to get the full marks so let's stick to this plan uh, the, the, the smartest way of uh, uh, this uh, this part of the program was the dynamic array but that is not the part of our syllabus so just skip that all right so uh, we have to input the people going on uh, outing including the carers the senior citizens including the carers for example i was saying that fifth 13 citizens mean 15 people so we need to run this for loop from 1 to 15 and enter the name of the persons on outing message displayed the user will going to input uh, the all the names inside the array so the name will store in array for example here if 15 people are going so I've just made this thing up already so we can have an idea so for example of uh, the code is for C12 people and in task 1 we have already calculated that people are 15 13 citizens plus 2 carers so when we input name C this C is the this for loops variable so next and definitely the name and the amount as well all right so for example for c value one when for first iteration the value of c will be one one so whatever the user will going to input the name for example ali it will going to store in name one here and uh on the same iteration when the amount is required to, required to be input Ali has paid fifty seven dollars that will be input there uh, then after next the value of the C will become two so now this one and one will become two so now whatever the value and the name uh, user will going to input but not going to update this part of the program but it will going to update so the name 2 because name 2 for example it's Salman or whatever that will going to be stored in name 2 and the amount paid by him will store in amount 2 and this is how the whole list of all the uh, people will going to be created so all the names of the people going on an outing and all the amount paid by these people will be stored uh, all right so let's move forward so after doing this thing uh, one more thing that we need to do we need to calculate the uh, amount paid so this amount paid will simply going to count all the amount paid by the user for count one that amount C for example in that case $57 of Ali will be added to this variable for second count for example uh, the $60 of uh, Salman that we were using as a test data will be added to the previous value of the amount paid 57 plus 60 and this is how at the end of this for loop all the amount paid by all the people will be added into this variable amount paid uh, after this this uh, extra seats will be calculated so we have to do this same drill that if people are in between 12 and 16 to just to make sure that which lorry is going how many people are going so if the people are in between 4, 12 and 16 it's been 16 seater coach is going on so 16 minus people will give us the extra seats and if the citizens were at the start of the program was input somewhere in between uh, you know uh, 15 or uh, 24 so 23 it's been that 
people will be in between uh, 17 and 26. So it's mean that 26 seater bus is going the coach and then we can s calculate the seats by 26 subtracting it with people and so on. So after calculating the seats, the next thing is now this part of the program it will only going to execute if there are some extra seats available because only then extra people can accompany so if seats are greater than is equal to one means if that seats are available then only then we can add the extra people so then the first thing that we need to do is now the updated people are people plus seat we already done it default updated people are is equal to people either there are extra people or not uh, but if there are extra people then we're going to add the seats plus people now for example if uh, 15 people are already going on out uh, but now we need to add one extra people so that extra seat or the extra person will be added up and it will become the updated people now 16 people are going on outing so um, then this thing that I have done for the assigned to C to updated people the reason behind doing this thing is to append the same array for example if we were making this program this whole program and we were supposing that the 15 people are going in an outing we know that this for and next program will going to run for 15 times and all these uh, part of the errors will be filled up to 15 because 15 persons are going in an outing so we need to append the very same array we do not want to include any uh, we don't want to create any other array and we don't want to use the resources of the computer so what we did now we did for d assigned to c to updated people so now when we will going to input name d what will happen the previous of value of the c is uh, because the program has executed 15 times what happens in the 15th iteration for c15 we need to you know understand the what what happened in the previous loop for 15th iteration the program will execute this next will going to add plus 1 in c and it will the c will become 16 now uh, this is going to check here now what is inside c it's 16 now 16 is because greater than uh, the value inside the people that is 15 so this program will will then not going to execute but will come under after all right so the previous value will be c is equal to 16 so this is the reason for d assigned to 16 to updated people whatever the previous value of the uh, c is so for example the value of the c is now 16 so whatever the name now the the 16 will come inside d so whatever the value that we're going to add we're going to add here so the name of the person and the amount paid by him so for example if the up to date people were up to some specific number that we would have uh, appended the array that much only so for d assigned to c to update people will going to append the array so this will happen after doing this um, in task 3 we definitely have to uh, calculate the definitely sorry in task 2 after doing this uh, uh, doing extra people uh, thing adding the extra people we also have to calculate the amount paid by the extra people uh, and the same variable will be used so that the previous values from the uh, first for loop will be you know used so the last amount paid will be updated so this is how this amount paid will going to have all the prices uh, submitted by the people and the extra people and later on we will going to simply output the uh, name of all the people and the amount paid by them from one to updated people so that's the task of the task 2 and in task 3 we simply have to calculate the um, cost uh, profit made or not so the this thing is required to be done because we have to calculate 
the uh, extra amount build so this extra amount later on will be added to the expected cost that we have calculated in task one and this is how the expected cost is updated so simply the profit is the amount paid that we have calculated in task two minus cost the expected cost that we have calculated in task one and task three and if it's uh, greater than zero it's mean that we have made the profit and if no then it's mean that it's a break even so this is all about uh three release material of 2017 just to uh ask my questions leave comments below in on my youtube channel or ask me anything uh from this page you can join this blog and this very blog and You can also join me on Facebook and you can leave me comments there. So thank you very much. Allah Hafiz.